the cheesecake, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. What's up, YouTube? It's the next day. Um, we uh, flew back to the house for a couple of days, and we got to go back to South Florida to handle stuff. I got some new business things going on. You know, we might be going back over the road. Kind of, sort of. This is a little bit different, man. We just got to, you know, I got to take care of some other issues, but we might be back online, man. We might be you know, beating that road down again. But, hey, real quick, man. I wanted to talk about something. It might be a little unpopular for some of y'all, but being that I'm an African-American, what I'm about to say is not racist. Um, Why do businesses, big businesses and small businesses, often get run down or fail in black communities? Especially in Florida, South Florida. So I was... I flew back home, you know, where I'm from, you know, originally, um, the South Florida, and I, I was driving around, and I just, like, and I noticed something, and it hit me, you know, like a ton of bricks, and I'm and I'm just observing, and I, I leave the airport, no, 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 what was I, no, I pick up my rental car, and I'm coming up to this gas station, Wawa's. We all know about Wawa's and stuff, right? So check it, right? This Wawa's ain't nothing but a couple years old. It was the big thing. They had the news article and this and that. Tell me why the Wawa's is, they got trash everywhere. They had a, they had somebody get robbed at the gas pump. And it's just like they're not pressure cleaning it. They're not maintaining it. Like they got people walking in and out the place with no shoes on, like the police. They got one cop over there on his phone. He not doing nothing. And I knew it was bad when I seen that, that you know, that security tower thing that they got at Walmart. They had one of those in one of the parking spaces at Wawa's because people was getting robbed, cars breaking into, right? And, and I'm looking at the demographic going in, and it's no white people. No white people for like 20 minutes, man. This, But I go on the backside, they got the Tesla chargers, and... It's all the white people t uh, charging their Teslas, but they're not getting out of the car to go inside this, the Wawa's shop. And it was a it was a stark transparency into the demographic and how, as a culture, we carry ourselves and how we, in fact, do in fact tear down our own and do you know we do not appreciate and take care of things in our in our communities and where well, this wawa is at it's on the street called blue heron boulevard in Riviera beach if you've been to palm beach west palm beach you know about it you got trump over here donald trump and then you got the real west palm beach not palm beach island and just to see us adversely affecting ourselves was crazy like dude why y'all throwing trash on the ground like these like Little kid, and they got all the kids got on hoodies in this South Florida. Why you got a hoodie on and it's 75 degrees outside? And it's just like we hinder ourselves, and then when we then when we mess around and get arrested, they call you know, they call the police the C word. You know, I'm not gonna say it on YouTube, but oh, the C word is trying to ban me. Man, fuck, fuck the police. Did it. Listen, man, you leave out the part on what you did to get there. Okay, I'm going to get a little sidetracked. And it also gave me another uh, epiphany. I carry a weapon. I carry a, a concealed firearm on me, not because I'm scared of white people or the cops. I'm scared of other black people. Not that I'm scared. I got to worry about other black people. Nine times out of ten, a lot of the black on black crime is the main crime in my neighborhood where I'm from. And it's, just, it's sad. It's a shame. And it's like. Black people don't want to admit to it. They don't want to hear it. But I'm going to say what you're scared to say. And then, follow me now. I go to the Sonic. Um, my son wants a, you know, blue raspberry nerd slushy. Yada, yada, yada. Now, mind you, I've been, this Sonic been going down the drain. It's They're not doing the landscaping. They're just letting it go down. 
I don't know if that's a sonic thing or, but this one particular one in the neighborhood where I'm from is so bad, man. Like nobody ever pulls up to the car park, the carports anymore because they won't come out there. Nobody's on rollerblades anymore. Like Sonic's business model is done all the way away with what they what they're known for. And I come to the driveway, and I order like my son slushy. I order my mom like a New York dog, and you know like a cherry limeade. The girl was like, "Oh yeah." Oh, well, the strawberry cheesecake ain't working. Oh, the milkshake machine ain't working. We ain't, I, I got to reset it. They got like, they talking on attitude. So I get up to the window. The girl nails is like out to here. She got designs on them and accessories on them. Now, if you work in food service, you're not supposed to have long nails like this. Okay, I understand you got to express yourself. It's, this will be from us, the culture. No, it's not. That's ghetto. She had the nails poking through the gloves so she got gloves on but the nails is out okay and then she's like she's touching the money then she's going back to put the burger together i said oh ma'am you need to take them gloves off and you need to put on some new gloves oh i ain't got to do all that i already done cut these out oh, ma'am you just touch money and it dawned on her you just touch dirty money but she was just gonna make the burger like no 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 and I gave her a $20 bill. My, my order was like twelve thirty one or something, right? So tell me why the girl just gave me back $7. So I, I let the time go by. She gave me my food. I'm just sitting there thinking she going to give me a change. She come back. Did I forget something? What you doing? I said, uh, you owe me like 69 cents. You petty. What? Now, she a younger girl, so I'm not going to disrespect her because I got a daughter that's 18. I'm not going to disrespect a child. But she's not a child. You can tell she's like young, early 20s. Oh, you petty. I got to break a dollar for that now. What they got to do with me? I just want my chains. She has an attitude because I asked for the chains that I was entitled to. Okay. She took forever with that. Um, that is, that's the product of our environment. Um. I'm not saying white establishments and white neighborhoods don't have their bad apples because they do. Believe me, they do. But just to see us always complaining about this and that, and then we're purposely and we're in, but but yet I'm out of my town and I see that we're tearing down our own businesses in our community. Okay, we just opened up a Texas Roadhouse. Um, the food is bad. The the time the wait time is terrible. You got kids posted up in the parking lot like. The black kid, again, I'm black. This is not racist. You got kids with hoodies and beanies on posted up in the back of the park like the Texas Roadhouse. White people not going to want to come in here and eat no steak. What are y'all doing? And then they already complaining about, man, it, you know, it's slow at certain times. People scared to walk to their car. We got to hire like a full-time security guy. I'm like, and it's like whenever we get something nice, we always learn to tear it up. You know, like in Palm Beach, we have we have nightclubs, but they don't never last long. Like, you know, they want to be Miami so bad, but we can't. You know why? Because somebody always end up getting shot or style and the city shut it down. So we can't even have a decent urban nightclub in Palm Beach County. And this is going to end up looking like I'm bashing my city, but it's not. It's just a, a stark reminder of why businesses fail in black communities. And it's all facts. And wherever you live at, it might be like that. Um, to see whenever I come home, how trash things look. And furthermore, get this. The city I'm from, Rivera Beach, Florida, in Palm Beach, is pretty much a black ran city, as in the city commission is black, the mayor is, ma is black, the police chief is black. But somehow we got the highest crime. Our city commission does not, we don't have after school programs at city parks. The football teams at the rec at the recreational uh, leagues, they don't have proper equipment, but somehow the city commissioners are getting uh, a raise. We have Viking and Robovich yachts. Any of my boating people on my channel, you ever heard of Viking and Robovich? Their they're, 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 they're factories are in, in River Beach. We have Lockheed Martin in River Beach. We have a place called Singer Island with the Rich Carlton and Marriott Vacations in River Beach. Where's all that tax money going? Okay, they're not putting money into the infrastructure, and it reminds me of the city of Detroit. 
I don't know if you guys been on the rocket some, but for years and just recently, politicians and officials have been going to jail for stealing money from the city. Some dude that stole like forty million dollars from the waterfront project fund. A black guy to fund his lavish lifestyle. You remember the mayor went to prison for stealing money. This is in Detroit. And you wonder why the city looks so run down when you go to Detroit. Now, it's getting better. It ain't what it used to be. But all that money, a city like that, with all them, with all that money moving around, and Detroit is like the poorest city in America, a black city ran by blacks. And it's just, it's sad. And it pains me that this, to acknowledge this stuff on YouTube and whatnot. Because I got other races on here. This is not the bash or nothing. But I'm just here to show you why businesses fail in black communities. It's just we, we harm, we shoot ourselves in the foot, you know. And another, and I, and I think down the line, I want to spotlight Asian communities and how everybody stick together and how they come here with nothing and they make something. And I want to talk about white communities on how they, when, when you see white businesses get started up, a lot of times their parents put them on their credit cards when they was in high school or their parents gave them money to invest. But for us, a lot of our parents didn't have that money because they had a lot of stuff to overcome when they was a, when, when we was young. So we don't have them opportunity. We didn't know to add our kid as an authorized user to the credit card so they could have a credit report. So when they turn 18, they got credit. We didn't know these things, okay? Um, but I just... This just happened all in one night. I noticed businesses failing and or getting worn down and tore down in the black urban areas. I, met, I probably shouldn't say black communities, but nine times out of ten, that's what it is. Okay, so um, to see all this stuff play out in front of me, man, it's like, man, it's a real eye opener, man. And you know, I'm in a position in life where, you know, I'm not in poverty. I'm not in, you know. You know, I got my shortfalls. I'm, I'm, I'm living through one right now. But it ain't nothing like to where I gotta, you know, I'm dropping trash on the street. I'm robbing elderly people at the gas pump. Um, but me riding around, I got the Maserati. I'm riding around in that, and I'm going to a nice part of the city to go to Cheesecake. And I'm just thinking to myself, why the black community can't look like this? Why is this area so nice? Um, but in the black community, it look like the slums. You know, drop a comment below if your neighborhood or you live in an urban area and you go, you see, you notice the same things I'm speaking on. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one.